Yo, kamusta? Apparently, a new company is trying to enter the gaming peripheral scene here in the Philippines. Luckily, they've given us a chance to review one of their main guns. Guys, this is the Wismax Mecha CK1 Mechanical Keyboard, a full-size keyboard with media keys and a volume wheel. The CK1 is a 100% layout keyboard. It's a bulky mechanical keyboard which reminds me of my first Mecha keyboard, the Razer Black Widow Ultimate 2013. Now, if you check the sides, there's no USB pass-through. Lifting the keyboard, you can see the rubber feet, the stands, and the brand logo. Unlike most mechanical keyboards, the stand of the CK1 is only one level. On the rightmost top of the keyboard, you can find the media keys and a volume wheel. I like the implementation of the media keys and volume wheel. It's super handy and very accessible. No need to perform any key combinations when accessing the media keys. This is great for people who like to listen to Spotify or watch Netflix or YouTube videos. Meanwhile, the placement of the USB cable is in the middle, which is common. As you might have seen, the plate is not enclosed and the top housing of the switches are exposed. Also at the bottom, there's a separate RGB strip which can be configured separately. For sure, RGB fans will drool at this mechanical keyboard. Speaking of RGB, this keyboard has 15 lighting modes to choose from. You can access these lighting modes by pressing the function key plus F9. The keycaps of the CK1 are ABS plastic and it has an OEM profile. I think the ABS build of the keycaps is fine since they are replaceable. There are a lot of options in the market if you want to change the keycaps of this keyboard. When I got the CK1, I was surprised because of the information written on the box. This mechanical keyboard has scale box white switches. I did not expect that this keyboard has the said switches. I thought it had Otemu or Gator runs. By the way, Kalebox Whites are clicky which is typical for a pre-built gaming keyboard. I think having Kalebox White on a pre-built keyboard is great. By the way, this keyboard is also available in Kalebox Red and Brown. To be honest, I think the Kalebox White switches are better than the Cherry MX Blue switches. So far, I prefer the typing experience of the former compared to the latter. Apparently, the CK1 is not hot swappable. Hot swap keyboards are the trend these days and I think Micronix should consider making their next iteration of the CK1 hot swappable. And now, here's a quick sound test. Now if we check each stabilizer, they are not wobbly which is a great thing. Most pre-built mechanical keyboards have wobbly stabilizers. Also if we look closer, they are lubed. Again, this is a common thing for pre-built mechanical keyboards. But having the stabilizers lubed out of the box is a great thing. The CK1 mechanical keyboard has a 1000Hz polling rate which is the ideal number for a gaming keyboard. So far in my testing, I haven't had any delay issues when pressing the keys of the CK1. It's really responsive which is great for competitive gaming. Having an key rollover feature is very critical also for a gaming keyboard. Good thing the CK1 supports N key rollover. As you can see here, I'm using an online tool to test the keyboard. So far, the CK1 registers all of the keys I'm pressing. This is great for people who plays a lot of rhythm games like Oz. One interesting component of the keyboard is the palm rest. It has magnets which help the palm rest stay in place. I think having a magnetic palm rest makes this keyboard a complete package. Now let's tear down the CK1 and see what's inside. There are at least 10 screws you need to unscrew if you want to open this keyboard. Upon removing the keys and plate, you'll see a case foam sandwiched between the PCB and the bottom casing. Seeing a case foam inside is a good thing to be honest. Unfortunately, we will not modify this keyboard since we don't have the tools and skills to desolder the switches. I'll leave it up to you if you want to modify this keyboard. I think I'm satisfied with what I saw inside this keyboard. As for the price, the CK1 mechanical keyboard is priced at 6,900 pesos. Also, you can get this on Wismax Philippines Shopee Store. The link is posted below. Overall, it's a great keyboard. Like I said earlier, I love the implementation of the media keys and volume wheel. 
Aside from that, it has scale box white switches, which are good switches. Also, the case foam sandwich between the PCB and bottom casing is a good thing too. I think all of the essentials of a gaming keyboard are included. In my testing, I did not experience any issues so far. If I do in the future, I'll update the comments below. I think there's nothing to hate about this keyboard, but I just wish that it's hot swappable. In my opinion, if it's hot swap, this keyboard can compete with bigger brands like Razer. Also, enthusiasts these days I for customizable keyboards rather than pre built ones. I hope Micronics will listen to us and make hot swappable keyboards in the future. Huge thanks to Micronics Wismax for trusting us and sending this keyboard in. And that's it, guys, we have reached the end part now. Hopefully, you've enjoyed this video. Till our next. Goodbye.